Hey, it's me. I'm just wishing you a very happy Lionsgate 2020. Truth vibrations. Hmm. Now, there is a lot happening on the planet right now as we speak that is being brought to light at a rapid rate, at an unstoppable rate. And the elites are getting very afraid. So it's up to you. The more awake and aware you are, the less power or illusion of power they have. So it's really not about agreeing or disagreeing or having petty debates amongst yourselves, amongst your friends and family. It's about noticing what is actually happening at the top, behind the scenes, and knowing what their game is. So yes, they have lots of money, and yes, they are manipulative, narcissistic psychopaths. But apart from that, they are very vulnerable. And once you realize that the power is with the people, it's game over for those at the top. And yet, I am witnessing a great deal of blind, unquestioning compliance being drawn out from the masses. And this is an activated or an over-activated survival instinct, reacting to the superficial givens of those who are quote-unquote, in charge. So in this sense, it is up to you to transcend mere survivalism, for it is petty and egoic. Once you transcend this third-dimensional worry and fear and reactivity, obeying clinically insane regulations from your public officials, then you will begin to smell and taste the aroma of truth. And the truth is, the world governments do not have people's interest at heart. Not at all. So the idea of staying safe is completely risible and fraudulent. As humans, you are meant to exercise your free will. You are meant to use the brain that God gave you. Think for yourselves. Add two and two together. For if you don't think for yourselves and come to your own informed conclusions, you give your power away to those who do not have your best interests at heart, who mean to exploit you, subjugate you. Do you really wish to give your power away to manipulative, narcissistic psychopaths? That is a legitimate question. Because once you're in fear mode, you essentially disempower yourself. When you are angry and squabble amongst yourselves, that too is a sign of complete and utter immaturity. Fear and anger are very low dense frequencies which create sort of blinders. It creates division, discord, and it prevents one from seeing the bigger picture. So consider the fact 
that they are using your fear and your anger against you. They are literally capitalizing on your fear and your anger. These emotions lead to the dark side. They are initially useful and are meant to be felt, but on the grand scale of emotions and energy in motion, there is a universe of infinite possibility. So, the energy of fear reveals a stagnancy and that stagnancy demands movement. Anger reveals something that needs to be shifted and therefore changed, proactively changed. So the optimal turning point vibration which leads you into the higher realms is the vibration of courage. All possibilities begin from courage and willingness. First accept your fear, accept your anger, then you can move on to the courage and the willingness and take off from there. So if you are willing to face the actual facts of what is being revealed in the world right now, then you can begin to move forward and cease with the denial and burying your head in the sand. If you are not in truth, then you are either in denial, which you can work through, or you are part of the agenda or complicit. And I have been more than patient up to this point in time with you humans. Some of you are wide awake, and that's brilliant. This is a great relief, and you're doing so well. You are so loved. As for the other beloved humans, it's time to wake up. And you know, during these times, waking up is really no longer a luxury. It is an absolute necessity. So this is just me splashing a bit of water on the face of the rest of humanity. Just to say, it's time. It really is time to, as David Icke would say, get off your knees. The lion sleeps no more. Roar.